Hey everybody, I'm Jer. Welcome back to Stock Voyager. Okay, we're going to look at BTCS, which was a company that spiked this morning pre-market. I want to go into why they spiked, what to watch out for, um, and other news that has to do with this stock. Okay, so we are going to go, let me pull this up really quick. All right, Yahoo. Uh, they just did, they are announcing that um, they are adding Algo Rand um, to its blockchain infrastructure operations. Uh, Algorand's blockchain features asset uh, development, atomic swaps, and smart contract ex execution. BTCS earns revenue by re being rewarded with additional tokens. The company has also deployed a proprietary script to compound its rewards daily. Okay, so this kind of tells you what Algo is. So this is what caused the spike. All right, so now then. Another good thing about BTCS is that they recently, January 5th, announced um, that they would do a, a dividend and pay it in Bitcoin. And they're calling a dividend. Yeah, dividend. Um, it'll be payable to shareholders, a uh, record at their, uh, to our shareholders of record at their election in Bitcoin or cash. Um, the Bitcoin or the dividend is five cents a share. Um, the steps to require are uh, required to become a record holder on the books and records of our transfer agent, equity stock transfer and opt-in to the dividend are outlined in dividend.com and disclosed on form 8K files. Uh, Commission on January 5th, any shareholders records who do not opt in receive their dividend will instead receive an equivalent cash dividend. The company is working with Equity Stock Transfer LLC. Okay, so we have set record date of March 17th, 2022 to leave ample time for our shareholders to complete the opt-in process by the March 16th X dividend. So if you are a shareholder, um, I don't know what the date of record is. Do they have? Oh, the recording date is March 17th. So you need to be opt in though by March 16th opt in deadline. So if you own the stock shares of the stock, you can opt in by this deadline. So March 16th, you want to own the shares by March 16th and you'll get five cents in Bitcoin per share you have. Um, let's go to the dividend.com and look in. Yeah, okay, BTCS, a dividend payable in Bitcoin, cool. Put a lot into this for 62 days, they have a countdown. 62 days, 6 hours, 56 minutes. So if you want to get this 5 cents in Bitcoin, you want to own the shares by that date, the March 16th. Promote a crypto adoption. Reward shareholders. Titan float. Um, build fundamental shareholder base. BTCS. Advancing blockchain product uh, protocols and data. So this is what BTCS is. Just a way to evaluate your crypto portfolio's performance. Cool. Okay, so there's that. This is the dividend. You want to be have it before March 16th if you're going to participate. Great. Cool. That's why we've seen some of the spike. Here is another kind of great thing. Um, Charles Allen, the CEO, uh, bought um, on, what was the date on this? September 14th, uh, bought 30, he has 34% of the company. And he's reporting that here. Cool. Um, this is not anything, I don't think. 
Okay, so here is another another um, bullish activity, more bullish activity. On January 2nd, 2022, the Board of Directors BTCS ratified the following arrangements approved by Compensation Committee. So, Charles Allen, the company's chief executive officer, was rewarded 173000 fully uh, vested shares of common stock, and Michael Hendernan, the company's chief operating officer, was awarded 111000 fully vested shares of common stock granted under the 2021 Equity Incentive Plan. So if they kept the market cap above 100 million for 30 consecutive days, they received 173,000 shares. If they kept it up um, above 150,000, they received another 173,000. If they kept it above 200 million for 30 consecutive days, they would receive another 173,000. And if they kept it above 400 million, they received a, he received another 173,000. So apparently, this last year, um, is this for the last year? Let's look. So this was under the 2021 equity incentive. I wonder what their 2022 equity incentive, if it's the same, then it's great. Okay, so here is what you need to be cautious of, though. So on, um, they did a prospectus on February 16th. Now then, on uh, September 14th, they did a prospectus supplement. September 14th. For, to issue to do a at the market issue of $98 million worth of share of common stock. So at the market means that as they need it or as they want, they can uh, sell shares to get money to be able to continue business or pay their officers or pay their employees um, or do whatever they really want with it. Um, so $98 million is a lot. Um, which is probably why we've seen kind of a drop off for BTCS because that is that's ongoing. Um, and I looked and couldn't find where this is close, so it's still ongoing. Um, now then, the next thing is we want to look at uh, their financials. I haven't done all this beforehand, um, so this is kind of like a live video. Uh, so bear with me while we work through these numbers. Let me... I will release a an actual uh, uh, DD report on them shortly. So uh, let's look. This quarter finished on September 2021. Uh, they had 323,380 in revenue. Then June, quarter ending June, 380,000 500 in revenue quarter ending March 72,000 520 in revenue uh, quarter ending December um, no revenue okay so Let's do this math really quick here. Uh, 14, 6, 10, 17, 7. So in the last four quarters, their revenue is 776400 Now uh, we will do income. Okay, so they lost 760000 this quarter. That we're looking at here, which was December 20, ending 20, December 2020, 760,000. Uh, lost 6 million, 780,000. Uh, lost 4 million, 840,000. 
lost three million uh, eight hundred forty thousand. Okay. Oh, all right. Eight, sixteen, twenty-two. 9, 16, uh, 24, 32, 9, 10, 13, 16. Okay. Um, so they've lost 16 million. With a revenue of 776K. Okay, so let's take a look at what they're trading at. Their market cap is 68 million. Okay, so then we'll take that 68 million and we will divide it by their revenue uh, for the last four quarters. <clears throat> Okay, they are trading at 87.6 times rev, which is extremely high, especially considering that they're not profitable either. They've lost $16 million in the last four quarters. So not in my opinion, my opinion, I'm not your financial advisor, can't tell you what to do, can't tell you to buy or sell or hold or anything. Um, but I can tell you what I would do. I only have two employees. Okay. Uh, what I would do is not <laughs> get in this. I wouldn't invest in it. Now then that's not to say I wouldn't trade it because I would trade it, but I'd be very careful here. Like if we look at, um, okay. We already looked at these. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, six months. So they've kind of come up a lot here. They announced that in September. Oh, this is your date. Okay. And kind of saw some coming off here. I wonder why they didn't see a bigger sell-off from that. Well, maybe they did. No. And then gradually, okay. They must have, they must have done a, I, they did. Uh, they did a, a SPAC or like bought out another company and merged. They did so good here. How many shares? So it's very, let's look at, like free float is 4.25 million. Shares outstanding is 10 million. It's obviously trading at the, like they're doing the, market cap off of the shares outstanding total so okay but there's that ongoing at the market so that's kind of that kind of makes me very cautious and you should probably be cautious too my opinion but it could spike up you just got to be be understanding that at the market offering they could be offering you know, once this gets to like seven or eight, which this morning it did, it got to 11, um, not gets to seven or eight. It got to 11 this morning, uh, earlier this morning. I did see that at like four 30, it got to like 11 something. So you could see that today. This might be good for trading, but long-term, unless they really turn their revenue around, I don't see it as an investment. So trade it. I might, I might even trade it, but I would want to wait until after opening and then wait for it to find support and then get in and see how high it can go. But I would not, I am not going to trade it after hours and I'm not definitely not going to hold it overnight. So 
That is just my opinion on BTCS. You do what you want to do, obviously. Um, and uh, I, I wish you luck in whatever you decide to do. Um, but yeah, I am uh, going to hold off and wait for it to settle and then possibly get in um, off of the hype of the news, uh, depending on if it finds support and when it finds support and just how I feel about it at that point. So totally up to you, obviously. Uh, anyway, I hope this helps somebody. Uh, if you haven't yet, be sure to like this video and also subscribe. I try to do videos every day if I can, um, or if I find stuff that I think is worth doing a video over. Um, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful, profitable green day, and I will see you very, very soon. All right. Bye.